Good morning. Good Monday morning to everyone. Today is the first Secret Path Week DWF live session. So it's great to be live here on Facebook and YouTube. Um, my name is Brina Anjknab. I am the Education Programs Assistant here at the Gore Downey and Cheney Wajak Fund. Um, I'm coming, I'm tuning in from Toronto. And I'm, I'm just going to do a quick land acknowledgement. Um, as we gather here today, um, throughout Turtle Island, we remind you that we are situated on treaty and unceded Indigenous lands. This land is steeped in rich Indigenous history and is home to many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people today. And as, we, and as a country, we have a responsibility for the stewardship of the land of which we will live and work on. So um, today we are very excited to be interviewing um, Joshua DePerry, also known as Classic Roots. I know um, a lot of the students and classrooms are excited for his session today. Um, as you're tuning in, please post a comment below um, so we know where you are tuning in from. Um, so the Gordon Downey and Cheney Magic Fund, inspired by Cheney's story, Gord um, Gord's call to build a better Canada, the Gord Downey and Cheney Wajak Fund aims to build cultural understanding and create a path towards reconciliation between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples. Our goal is to improve the lives of Indigenous people by building awareness, education, and connections between all people in Canada. We are broadcasting live every day this week. Um, at 10 a.m., 12 p.m., and 2 p.m. Eastern time as a part of Secret Path Week. Secret Path Week is a national movement co commemorating the legacies of Gord Downey and Cheney Wenjack Fund. It takes place annually October 17th and to the 22nd. This is a meaningful, meaningful week as um, October 17th and 22nd respectively mark the dates that Gord Downey and Cheney Wenjack joined the spirit world. Um, we call all people in Canada to use Secret Path Week to answer Gord Downey's call to action to do something by creating a reconciliation action and furthering that conversation about the history of residential schools. We have a jam-packed week planned um, with powerful speakers and amazing artists. Um, so be sure to check out our website um, downywenjack.ca forward slash DWF live and register for our events. It is great to see all the classrooms tuning in. I can see um, everyone across the board. Um, so I'm actually going to be introducing Josh DePerry. Um, we will be hosting a Q&A later on. So please be sure to post your comments down in the um, comment section. So, Classic Recruits Josh Perry is a, a Toronto native, um, the Toronto native award winning producer and DJ who is impacting the global music community with his fresh sound and meaningful collaborations with diverse artists. Drawing inspiration from his life and culture, Classic Roots developed his original sound through integration of traditional Anishinaabe drumming and singing. With unique sound of techno and house, to establish a, a sense of indigenous cultural freedom that echoes throughout the electronic music scene. So um, let's bring in classic roots. <laughs> Josh, you're muted. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you doing? What's going on? Good morning. Good morning. Mido <laughs> Gazip. How you doing? So I'm probably you guys are already assuming that i'm going to be playing my music of course i'm going to play some music i just want to introduce myself i am uh, a dj composer and also indigenous dancer and uh, the music that i do is techno and house and techno and house um i really did enjoy the four four beats or or just hearing like the long transitions of different of different songs and so i really really got into it so like really into it like an early age and um let me just switch this a little bit here 
How's it going, everybody? Yeah, there we go. So, like I said, <clears throat> I started making music probably like really early, like 16, 17, 16. I remember being in high school and I had a good friend. Well, um, I don't know. I uh, he so he gave me a, like a, a demo, a demo, like a music software called Reason. And I was like, I was like, what is this? Like at first, you know, I thought you have to make music through like drum machines or like these kind of machines and stuff like that. I thought you had to do that. And then later on, he just literally, he just like, you know, he just looked at me and says, here, try it out. And so I checked it out, install it. And I also installed it in my computer. And then ever since then, I started making music. I started to learn how to make a drum uh, loop. And well, at first it really, you know, I had a hard time because I didn't know about quantize. I didn't know about tempo. I didn't know about um, semitones. I didn't know about scales. Like I didn't know nothing about that until I started to, you know, reading the instructions and then I got, and then soon enough I started to make a beat and then I started to make boom bat beats. And then, and then I started to like, you know, but the thing is, at the time, I only had that demo. The demo only gives you a certain amount of uh, saving, so you you won't you won't able to have a full song to um, finalize. And so I remember on my 18th birthday, and I know um, at my res we have this uh, thing that we, when you turn 18, you get some money. So I was able to um, got you know money through my band, and uh, I ended up um, saving it and investing into equipment like this and i remember buying my very first drum machine a drum machine called dr rhythm and and then soon enough i saw the, the you know the dr rhythm taught me how to make the drums you know like the that big boom like this yeah like that and then soon soon i started to making those drum sounds on the drum machine and then i didn't know how to connect it to the computer and then i remember that drum machine wasn't uh um compatible to the computer and so i i decided to look in online see what i can do and then i seen other other producers out there in you know all the side of the world and stuff and i happened to see like my favorite producer um pete rock or dj premier like these hip-hop um producers and then and soon enough i got into uh, listening to daft punk and then carrie chandler um uh, a lot of like the really underground techno um, producers as well. Like I started to see what they use and stuff. And then soon enough, I researched it, S searched it on Ask Jeeves. At the time, it wasn't Google around. It was there was Ask Jeeves before back in the day. And I remember using that. And then and then I and I end up saying how to use making music or something. And I remember put, typing in there. And soon enough, I found a drum machine sampler called MPC One Thousand. And that drum machine sampler was like my baby to go to when it comes to like making beats and putting sound songs together and chopping them up into uh, into a beat um i still have my i still have my beats laying around somewhere it's in my hard external hard drives um but I, as soon as i got into making music through that drum machine sampler that's when that's when i connected to the computer and using reason and then soon enough i i started to started to you know make music through there and then here i am working on music until then i'm 33 years old and um this is what my my main career is right here music making music djing i started i started djing when i was 18 years old and i remember being 18 years old and it was just um you know the first time you get out there and you started playing festivals or start playing like these small local events here and there and people want you to change music but you really want to pursue as a techno or a house dj and you start and that's when people start to notice they start to notice your mixes and start to notice your your movements your, your the way how you feel through your music and eh? so um so i want i just want to do a little uh a little demonstration of one of my new music that i'm actually excited to uh release next year and this one, oh man, I really like this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Ready? Are you guys ready? All right. <laughs>
Yo, what was that? How do you like that? Are you really cool? Was that really awesome? Oh, man, I enjoy what I just did there. I was just about to get into another music, another track there. That's how that's how that's how what DJ loves doing, just mixing new tracks, unreleased stuff and had fun. I got four tracks here, one, two, and three, and four, and then I could add different sounds to it, different instruments. Um, yeah. How'd you like that? Cool? How's everybody doing? So let me play another track of mine. And this is my other one. I call it Groove for now. Um, this one here, I, I uh, actually am proud of this one because it's it really has that sound of that groove, and there's no um, there's no repetitive sounds. It's just it's just uh, a four four rhythm, and it has this main lead. It just catches it catches you, um, you know. As a as a as a DJ and a producer, that, that track I was visualizing a, a story like myself going to a rave. Don't need I don't even need to eat any drugs or alcohol because I don't even do that. So I continue on that journey, just kept going to that sound right beside the speaker and just having just enjoy it. That music it just grabs you, and so that's why I was recreating the song and it just was I was making that story, visualizing myself at a rave, but being with the music being with that song hope you guys enjoy ready So what do you think? That sounds pretty cool. What? Yo, yo, yo.
What do you think of that? Ooh, I am really dehydrated on that one. I got to drink some water. Shout out to water, maybe. Wow. <clears throat> Boy, I had fun there. See what I did there? See what I was just about to do? I was actually going to mix another track. And see, like I was just getting into it. I, I, I'm pretty sure you, I'm pretty sure everyone was actually getting really into it, right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, like I said, this is one of my ways of having fun and enjoying music itself. Um, what was I going about to say? Oh, yeah, I was another. Um, I have another track. Like I said, I have a lot of unreleased tracks that I haven't been, you know, into the public yet. So you guys are actually getting a really good a premiere of of the song is going to be coming out soon. Um, for this one, it's called Intertribal. And I have my my buddy Max Six. Excuse me. I had my buddy Max Six to uh, record a few phrases, and and I, you know I've I grew up in in the power circuit. I used to I used to like. I mean I still do uh, travel um, to powwows. I haven't I haven't been to a powwow this year, but I'm going to look forward to next year for sure. Um, I think I think one of them is in Lumbee. I want to check that out for sure. Uh, so before I get all sidetracked, but I was just trying to say is that. Um, when i was uh over up north towards fort francis i got a chance to get you know got together with him and i told him to record some really cool phrases because i really like um being i really like hearing an mc announcing a few things at a powwow right so i i i just love that 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 unique of like putting something in there and you know make it like an actual powwow so that's why that's why i have a, a genre a genre called powwow techno that i integrated to that so i hope you guys enjoy that i'm gonna i'm gonna search it up and look for it because it's right here there we go all right so okay anyways here we go Hey! 
Hey, we've got a black Dodge Ram license plate R4LM6. Your car is on fire. Hey, I'm just kidding, but we do need you to move your vehicle ASAP. You guys like that? Was that cool? Was that okay? Yeah, could have done better. <laughs> I'm joking. So yeah, so that was the track Inter Tribal. Sorry about that. I was actually somebody uh, came in the knock on that door. I had to pick up some mail, so sorry about that. I had to run back and run back and forth. <laughs> but I guess I'm pretty sure you guys enjoy that music, right? You enjoy that really groovy beat, yeah. Like I said, yeah, I really love house music. I really love techno. I, you know, basically grew up listening to because my my dad actually was a you know a DJ himself, and uh, I remember just going through that box of full of '90s dance music, and you know there was much there was like much dance '94, '95, '96, and then there was Groove Station One, Groove Station Two, Chris Shepard, Pyre Session Volume One. Like there's like amazing classic of albums that I really got into, and you know it, it was really cool because looking at those CDs, looking back, those songs it was actually you know came from another place, right? Like the music that I was listening to was also like it came from Berlin. And then, you know, before that, you know, before before Berlin, techno was actually born in Detroit. So it so from there to Berlin and got hold of the Berlin and across Europe and then across around the world and everyone's listening to techno. Everyone's listening to house music. Um, but uh, I don't uh, I don't know spin as much hip hop, but I really, really am into the house and tech because it's just so. Oh, <laughs> You just keep going and you, you enjoy life. And I, I think for me, it's like a therapeutic, right? Like it's, it's there like, whoa, you know, music is, is you know, just, it's just, oh man, it's my, it's like, it's there, you know? Um, but that being said, I would like to share another track here. Um, I have an, I have many tracks. I also, this one here, this is, this is another track here of mine. Um, I've been working on this one. It's called, uh, it's Class Roots and Shub, Big Shub, the DJ Shub. Um, I was collaborating with Chev with on this one and I just gave him the stamps. It's like, Hey bro, check this out. Hope you guys and hope you like it. And he did. And then he gave it back to me and then he's like, yo, check this out. I'm like, all right. So you get, you get a little bit of sneak peek on this one too. Check it out. Ready? <laughs> Time to wake you up. Here we go. This is your boy, Class Fruits, and 99.5 FM. Now you're listening to the newest track from your boy, DJ Shout. <laughs> Hey! 
guys enjoy that i'm really happy to be here and yeah like i said um, music is just one of the tools that keeps me happy um like i'm gonna be honest with you growing up as a kid and especially my teenage uh, teenage days i was bullied before and so it really it really did um really did down my my self-esteem like it really went and then soon enough the music itself. Ooh, I'm saying the music. Oh, 
I can't live without it. I mean, everyone in this world can live without music. I think without music, I think we'll probably be pretty much we'll go insane. <laughs> so I have some time for some Q and A. I thought I'd be be nice to, you know, ask them some Q and A now, and then you know, hope you guys enjoy the music. I really was really thrilled to share some stuff, and uh, you guys can take that home and say, "Yo, Class Roots is cool, man. I like its music." <laughs> And honestly, what a way to start a Monday morning and to kick off Secret Path Week. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> get dance music. Hopefully uh -huh. all the classrooms were dancing along because I for sure was in the background. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, just a reminder to um, our camera spotlight classrooms. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, please make sure your mic and cameras are turned on so that we can add you to our stream. You might need to leave the studio and um, sign back on with your mic and camera for it to work. So with that, we are actually going to turn tune into Mr. Tony's class. Um, please let us know where you are, what school and what grade. So let's bring in Mr. Tony. Uh, hi. Uh, no. I'll try and wave hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> um, we're uh, grade five, six, Nation View Public School uh, in, uh, are we South Mountain or Mountain? South Mountain, South Mountain. <laughs> South Mountain, Ontario. Nice, nice. And uh, we really enjoyed uh, listening to the music and the beats. I had uh, oh, thank you. people that were in there, and uh, I love the program as well. I, I use a similar one myself, so. Sweet. Yes, it's it's such a handy tool for sure. It is. And my kids, uh, the kids that I've used it with absolutely love it. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. So great. Thank you very much for sharing with us. We really appreciate mm -hmm. it. Thank you. Me Miigwech. Me awesome. Is there any questions? I, yeah. thought, I thought this was a video. Like on YouTube. No, no, I'm here. I'm real. I'm right. I'm hearing you right now, man. You're, you're awesome. <laughs> great. Uh, thank you very much. Miigwech. Oh yeah, guys, say bye. bye. Thank you, Mr. Tony's class. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pull a question from the chat. Sure. Um, or what brings a lot of inspiration to maybe like each individual song or just daily? Like what? What is it? I say movies. Movies is my go-to when it comes to inspiration. I'll just sit there for like hours and just listening to soundtracks over and over. Like even like Blade Runner 2045, that was like really classic, um, um, a classic album from Hans Zimmer. And like I love his Hans Zimmer stuff. Oh, big time. Daniel Elfman. Um, and then of course Daft Punk did the Tron Legacy. Ooh, in integrating classical to electronic sounds. Oh. That's so be way beyond, you know, this time. <laughs> so I, I, I'd say, I say, yeah, movies really is my my go to. Like, I watch anything, um, even if even if it's not really a, the greatest film, but there's something in in certain movies has music, so it, it, it clicks me right away, and I, and I have to stop it. But like, I'll tell my wife, okay, I'm gonna go straight to music <laughs> and work on something because just that sound inspired me. I really want that, you know that Picasso or, or, or that fluid in there, you know, anything. <laughs> I like it, Picasso. <laughs> um, I'm going to pull another question from the chat. Um, classrooms, please uh, join the stream and we will be happy to bring your classroom into the live stream. So um, when did you realize you wanted to pursue music as a full-time career? Um. As soon as as soon as I turned eighteen, I think that's when you know I. As soon as I got that that uh, the money from my band, I just said to myself, I, "I'm going to invest into this. I think I think I know I'm going to go somewhere with this." And you know, soon enough, I you know I never would expect to be living in Duck Aronso or or you know doing this. So I, I I just have the big ups to that when I turn eighteen, and you know like I see my like you know friends and cousins from from my band and just. You know, use it something else, and and I I I turned it around. I was like, I needed something to do. You know, like, and I started to invest in a monitor, to a drum machine, and just that's from that moment when I was eighteen, I was that's like, awesome. I'm serious about that. 
And it's so funny because I used to always see you around at Thunder Bay because I grew oh. up in Thunder Bay. <laughs> nice, but nice. Like, um, like I would always see you like in your regalia or like yeah. doing like a set and stuff. So it's pretty cool that like we are here today and like small you. world, doing, small world. Even yeah. even though T Bay is a hundred thousand people, you know, <laughs> there's always a connection. <laughs> yeah, always. <laughs> and uh, I was uh, sport. I was like. I know classic groups. I've like seen them growing up, like yeah, around yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, shows. Let's for it. Just kidding. <laughs> it's so funny. So, um, I'm bringing another question in from sure. Natalie G. Do you have any tips on overcoming creative blocks? Mm, oh, that was my. That's my. That's my most favorite one, actually. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was procrastinating a lot because I was working this album for a whole year since January. So it it happens. It's not it's not every day you're gonna be like, okay, I'll make a beat and and you know, it, it doesn't happen that way. Even even if you, you know, make deadlines and sometimes those deadlines can, you know, overlap it, but also at the end of the day, you creating something that moment, it it, it eventually spark up again. Like even those tracks I just shared, like those took me a while just to just to get into it, get to, into the groove, like because there's so many distractions everywhere, and especially you know, in personal life uh stress out or just like other stuff that that really kind of like you know I, you know just not verbally but not really just hitting you in all at once and then you know eventually once that uh, uh, ends that's when you eventually just merge into it like i said like that was that was a, the first question i said mentioned you know movies that's my go-to i'll go straight into it and then soon enough i'll, I'll go back to the making music <laughs> okay i'm going back to the music that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we're actually gonna bring in a, a classroom right now. Okay, cool. So grade five six at a Nation View Public School. Well, hello. I can hear the sound. <laughs> what is your question? I think we're having a little little sound difficulties. Yeah, I I happen to hear something. How was your I, I think I heard that, but oh they can perhaps uh text it. Oh hey there, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I can see the video. <laughs> Great five and six. How you doing? <laughs> it's a little a little choppy. The mute the, the 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 sounds a little choppy. But uh, if you like the text, oh, the audio Hi isn't there. working. Okay, great. Hi. Hi. We just just had a question from one of our students, Lily Ray. She just wanted to ask you a quick question. What, what what was your main inspired? Oh. Who inspired you most? Who is who is my in, in like what would really inspire me the most? You mean? Can you hear us? Sorry. We, we can, you're choppy, but um, I believe it was Lily Lily, Lily Ray who wanted to my, ask. Like who inspired you the most? Mm. Okay, uh, I got the question. I got the question. I got it. Yeah, I, I heard. I heard the question. I heard the question. Um, my biggest inspiration probably would say, I would say my grandmother. Rest in peace. Uh, she passed away year two thousand, and I would say she was an amazing person she gave me the kindness she gave me the the way of just um you know showing showing that kindness to everybody and i i would say that was my biggest inspiration my my Gokum, like she you know rest easy uh, i know she's there every time i put down tobacco you know and yeah i'd say yeah it's my biggest inspiration it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone Thanks. looks up to their gookum. 
Mm-hmm, definitely, definitely. Every now and then, I'll, I'll I'll watch her, watch her just folding those clothes and listen to her stories, and and you know, it's just it's just amazing. She was just, she was adorable. <laughs> 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 I, know, I think I love like just cook them in like their cook them scarves. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so and- yeah, she did wear that a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna do a, one more question in the chat. Sure. Um, let's do how long does it take for you to write music? And do you think of dance moves as you write? <laughs> um, well, like I said, um, I was I I started dancing at a really young age, twelve, um, even earlier too, because I really got into powwow and going going to Mount McKay a lot as a kid, yeah. and and so I was really. Uh, it takes me a while. It takes me a while to get into the groove and 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 say for but by, by hourly, I'd say six hours. Give me six hours, and then I'll get something going. Yeah, it takes that very long time. <laughs> and once you once you're in that groove, though, once you're in that mode, I call it I call it the, the just the groove mode. And once you're into that that wavelength, yeah. then you're you're able to get into movement and close your eyes, and you're literally just dancing with your beat, and you're just visualizing yourself at a at a dance or like at a rave or you know just having a good time. But I'm also mm-hmm. learning some new moves too, like. I can go do this one. I can go on the side. I go like uh, uh, <laughs> with my footwork, you know, <laughs> or even do some uh, lunges, <laughs> grass dance lunge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think, like, you're, what, you're very iconic with like your regalia and like yeah, your, yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, that's 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 how I got into it, and I I don't I don't really think what I what I do when I when it comes to dancing. I just enjoy it but also going with the, with the movements of of the patterns that i created into the music so mm-hmm. that way that'll be able to like okay that's another conga in there okay i'll go back to this way oh 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 <laughs> you know you just you get really into it <laughs> yeah for sure so, so I, that's what i'm saying like it takes a while it takes takes hours that you know but it takes I'd say just be patient with yourself. That's the most important thing. Just be patient. And, and once you get into the mode, then there's no turning back. You're having fun. That's the main point. You're having fun. So much fun to it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. And I love how lively you are. Just mm. this morning, the start of Secret Path Week, like the kickoff, 10 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, thank you. Miigwech, yeah. I really enjoyed this. This is my first time hosting and it was great. So um, also, as mentioned before, we are broadcasting live every day this week um, at 10 a.m., 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern time um, as a part of Secret Path Week. You can learn more about Secret Path Week and DW- and more DW- DWF live sessions at downywajack.ca forward slash DWF live. Um, we do have a short survey that we'll be dropping in the chat now. Please let us know what you thought of today's program and what you'd like to see for future DWF events. Um, next, we are going to be live with Jace Martin at um, 12 p.m. today. Um, so be sure to tune in on Facebook or YouTube for that broadcast. <laughs> if you enjoyed this broadcast, please feel free to share it with your family and friends or host a watch party. That sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I might have to do that. (laughs) So thank you again, um, everybody, for all the questions. Thank you again, um, Josh. uh, And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you. Miigwech. Bummo P. I'll see you soon.